to Medici controller for Nova Combi. After powering up, the start menu appears. You can select seating menu or settings. Let's select seating menu. On the top left corner, you can see three area meters. The ones on the yellow background are selected in use. If the background color is gray, it is not in use. By pressing the button for a while, resetting menu appears. Pressing OK will reset the area. You can access to the tramline setting by pressing the icon for a while. The first number tells you the tramline step. You can change it by pressing the plus and minus buttons. And the second number tells you the distance between the tramlines. Tramline step is incrementing every time the machine is lifted. When tramline step achieves the tramline density, in this case number 7, the tramlines are turned on. The monitor will give an alarm about this, and two red bars are shown in the middle of the screen. If you don't want to make tram lines at all, you set the settings 0 out of 0. Press OK to accept. The exclamation mark tells you about alarm. When the machine gives an alarm, for example the hopper is empty, the icon turns to red and the monitor gives a sound alarm. By pressing the icon, you can turn off the sound. When using ridge marking, you need to have both markers active. In the first tramline step, both markers will go down. The other one marks the place of the tramlines, and the other one marks the place for the next pass. To deactivate the function, press the button again. Left marker, right marker. When the icon is yellow, it is active. If you want to use only one marker, activate only one icon. If you want to use so that they both go down in turns, activate them both. The active marker will change when the machine is lifted up. By activating the stop button, markers will not change sides when machine is lifted, and also the tramline step is not changed. Press the icon again to deactivate it. When half lift function is activated, the machine will not rise so high. This way, you can leave the rear harrow on ground and harrow the headland. When pole lift is active, you can lift the marker without lifting the machine. The function is on 30 seconds and after that it goes automatically off. On the right side of the screen, there are three fertilizer amount quick settings. You can change the fertilizer feeding amount during seeding. The value in the setting can be changed by pressing the icon for a few seconds, select kilograms, and select the value you want to seed. Press OK to accept. Fertilizer seeding quick settings need to be calibrated. This is done by pressing one of the icons for a few seconds. You insert the value you mostly want to use. For example, 300. OK. At this point, the machine makes adjustment. 
then you make the calibration test then come back to the monitor and select the same icon and select cal kilograms then you insert the result of the calibration tests kilograms per hectare for example 320 kilograms per hectare you press ok one calibration test calibrates all three quick settings color pressure is adjusted by pressing plus and minus buttons pressing the plus button the number increases and the color pressure increases notice that you need to also use the hydraulics of the tractor to increase the pressure so that the machine can go lower and the color pressure increases to decrease the color pressure press minus button lift the machine a little bit and lower it back again if you keep the tractor hydraulics on float when you increase the color pressure the machine can go lower automatically and the color pressure increases when the machine is lowered down the color icon in the middle of the screen appears red at first when the target pressure has been reached it turns yellow when machine is lifted up the color icon turns red rotation icons fertilizer seed small seed hopper lever icons fertilizer seed small seed we can see that the small seed icons are gray that means that they are not in use so you don't get an alarm even the hopper is empty pressing to the middle of the screen you enter a camera mode you can see a and b cameras by pressing the icon you can select which camera you are viewing if you select a plus b the camera will change automatically after a few seconds you can use all the quick settings and other functions as normal however you cannot change the values to get back to the seeding menu press the speed icon to go back to the start menu press the arrow to access the settings press the smaller icon on the top left corner you can see the forerunning value which means the circumference of the wheel the next one is the working with screen brightness sounds on off shaft alarms fertilizer seed you can adjust the setting by pressing the icon for a while and use plus and minus buttons to change the value press ok to accept you can turn the alarm off by setting the value to zero hopper level alarms can be turned on or off zero is off number one is on seed hopper level alarm small seed soft alarm small seed hopper level alarm from here you can access to the service screen which shows you information about the sensors and the valves and so on